Hello, welcome to the video on solving literal equations and formulas. This is our first example set, example set A. And of course, I hope you had a chance to watch the lesson video. I think that's really important. And uh, we're going to go ahead and tackle these four problems. We're going to solve for the following equation. Uh, we're going to solve the following equation for the given variable. Now, another way of stating these directions is to rewrite these equations in terms of this variable. So if I said, given the equation force equals mass times acceleration, or F equals M times A, it happens to be a physics formula. If I said rewrite that formula in terms of A, what I mean is uh, solve for A. So in other words, we're going to rewrite that such as A equals, and then everything else on the um, other side of the equation. So to do that, if you recall, the, the biggest thing is we want to think of this particular variable, the one that we're solving for, as the only variable uh, for the time being in the equation. Okay, so we're going to think of f and m. We're going to conceptualize those as numbers, if you will, and we're going to treat them as numbers as we solve for a. And so that's the whole trick in, in um, solving these literal equations and formula. So for a quick example, let's say f and m. Let's uh, let's just kind of think of these as numbers. I'm just kind of picking something here. Let's say um, f is uh, let's say would uh, represents the number 10, and then m would be like say the number 2. So we still have our a here, okay, because we're only treating a as a variable. So if I had this equation, 10 equals 2 times a, and I said solve for a, you would say, oh, okay, this is pretty easy. I would simply go ahead and divide both sides of the equation by 2, and I would have a equals 10 divided by 2. And you would be exactly correct. So we want to do the same thing here, take the same steps, because we're thinking of m and f as numbers, if you will, okay? So to solve for a, I just simply need to divide both sides of the equation by m. So f divided by m equals a. So given this formula here, force equals mass times acceleration, rewriting this in terms of a is this formula right here. So force divided by mass equals acceleration. Okay. All right, so let's move on to our next problem. So here we're given the formula A equals L times W. So we might recognize this as area equals length times width. So to solve for L, okay, this is very much like the last problem. To solve for L, I'm going to treat A and W. I'm going to think of those as uh, numbers, if you will. So this is L times W equals A. So to solve for L, I simply need to go ahead and divide both sides of the equation by W. So A divided by W equals L. All right? So there's our answer. So area divided by width would give you your length. All right, moving on. And like I said, if you understand these and these are pretty basic, that's great. Okay, so we want to start from a kind of a, a basic uh, standing point. Now, the next problem is P equals R minus C. So if you don't recognize this, it's no big deal. This formula is profit equals revenue minus cost. So we want to write this, rewrite this uh, formula in terms of R. So if you're struggling a little bit with this one, you're saying, well, okay, how do I start it? Just remember, if you need to kind of substitute some numbers just to kind of see the basic steps, how to get going here, that's fine. Okay, so let's say this was like, say, 10, because I'm only thinking of R as a variable, equals R minus 3. Okay, so what steps would I have to take to solve this equation? Well, I would go ahead and add 3 to both sides of the equation. So R would be equal to 10 plus 3. Okay, So those are the exact same steps we're going to take to solve for R, to rewrite this particular formula in terms of R. So what I'm going to do is add C to both sides of the equation. So I'm going to get P plus C equals R. Okay. So what I did was I took my original formula, profit equals revenue minus cost, and I rewrote it as profit plus cost equals revenue. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at our final problem. So here we have P equals 2W plus 2L. So this is perimeter formula. Perimeter equals twice the width plus twice the length. So this time we want to solve for L. Okay, so how do I do this one? Well, once again, if you're struggling, and you know, I don't want you to write numbers all the time, but just, you know, once you're when 
when you're starting out, it's okay to initially do that. Let's just kind of just think of some numbers here, just so you kind of see the steps. So this would be, let's see, 12 equals 2 times, okay, W could be, say, 3, plus 2 times L, okay? So really, this is like a two-step equation. This would be 12 equals 6 plus 2L, right? So to solve this, I would subtract 6 from both sides of the equation first. So I'd get 12 minus 6 over here equals 2 times L. All right. And then to solve for L, I would divide both sides of the equation by 2. Okay. So this would be 12 minus 6, or 6 divided by 2 would be 3, and that would be L. So I'm not totally doing you know, the entire equation here, or solving this particular equation. I'm just kind of giving you enough to give you a sense of where to get started, Okay, where, what steps we're going to be taking. Okay. So if you can kind of understand that, then you should be able to kind of grasp what I'm going to be doing here. So the first thing is, I'm going to solve for L, so I'm going to get rid of this 2W here, okay? So I'm going to get rid of 2W on the right-hand side of the equation, so profit, or excuse me, perimeter minus 2W equals 2 times L. All right, so I'm keeping my eye on the L here. So now when you look at this, Okay, this is actually going to be pretty easy to solve because I just need to divide both sides by 2. Now remember our procedure in the lesson, we just want to put parentheses around sums or differences. Okay, so P minus 2W, put parentheses around that, equals 2 times L. So to solve for L, simply going to divide both sides of the equation by 2. And we get P minus 2W divided by 2 equals L. Alright, so there we go. We just took our perimeter formula and rewrote it in terms of L, or in other words, we solve for L. Okay, so if you understand all of this, and this was like pretty easy for you, and uh, you feel good with it, then you're going to be well on your way to, to handling more challenging uh, problems. So let's start with the more, more basic problems, and we'll work our way up. Okay, so keep working hard. We'll see you soon.